whip in British politics. In Britain, and perhaps former British colonies, the term whip is used in a number of different ways in politics. The following article, in particular, talks about losing or removal of the whip. There are three line whips and other references to the term common in British politics. Can someone please explain the origin, etymology, and the variety of usage of the term in common political parlance? The whip is a parliamentary term dating back to 1742. The term originates from the political party needing to whip MPS to get them to attend and vote, according to the party line in the chamber, with the term originating from fox hunting. It was originally used metaphorically to mean ensuring that the MPS for the party get to the chamber in order to vote, but it has since been expanded to mean the control in general exerted by a party over its MPS. All other uses of whip derive from this original usage. In modern usage, whips are parliamentary enforcers who provide inducements and punishments to MPS who do not toe the party line, and in the extreme case of expelling an MP from a party, the party withdraws the whip. This does not expel the MP from parliament, since they are elected, but it means they can no longer represent the party officially, and will not be able to stand as the member of parliament for that party at the next general election. In the UK, we also have the following. A single line whip states the party's official policy and states when the vote is expected to take place, but there is no implied incentive or punishment for MPS to attend or vote with the party on this issue. A two line whip, or double line whip, is an instruction by the party that the MP must attend and vote according to the party's line. A three line whip is an order to attend and vote, with serious consequences threatened if the MP votes against the party or fails to attend the vote. Consequences can include expulsion from the party or loss of office. In the UK, the team of whips are called the whip's office, and the most senior whip who oversees the whips for that party is called the chief whip. The chief whip for the incumbent party is normally appointed as parliamentary secretary to the treasury, which affords him or her a place in cabinet, and a house at 12 Downing Street. The chief whip for both parties reports directly to the party leader, which for the party in power is the prime minister. I don't think I've seen it explicitly said yet in another post, so I wanted to describe exactly what the whip means in the expression removal of the whip or losing the whip. Aside from being used to refer to a certain party administrative official, the whip is also used to refer to a document, a weekly letter or circular, sent out by that official to members of the party. This document informs the members of the party about upcoming parliamentary business, the party's positions, and when or how party members are expected to vote on upcoming debates. Single line, two line, and three line whips are communicated by single, double and triple underlines in this document. The name of the document is derived from the name of the official, which, as described in other answers, itself originates from fox hunting terminology. As Matt and Guest's answers say, removing or withdrawing the whip is done to a party member who is no longer in good standing with the party leadership, and effectively means that the member is expelled from the party's parliamentary faction. I think that technically, expulsion from the party organization is a different process, removal of the whip is not inherently permanent, it can be, and I believe often is, used as a temporary punishment. What it literally means is that the party member no longer receives the document called the whip described in the preceding paragraph. The US Congress has both minority and majority party whips, and they serve much the same function as in the UK Parliament, but they don't have anywhere near as much power. But we still have them. Whip them into line. See here four whip and us politics. Here in Canada, we have party whips. They are the ones who contact the members of parliament and lobby the party talking points and remind members to, and how to, vote on matters in chamber. The derivation of the word is simply to whip things into shape, to blend everyone into a cohesive mix. Similarly, they whip up action among the party members. The position within a political party is one with some political power and behavior or positions taken that run afoul of the image of the party can result in removal and even demotion to one of the back benches, lower positions of political influence within the party. In the States, party hack approaches the spirit, house speaker approaches but exaggerates the amount of power. I use the term, sarcastically, around the office as a nickname for the most torpid of the staff. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.